Our country is blessed with rich natural resources, but sadly, we have repeatedly squandered these gifts. We are destroying nature's fragile treasures over time, but there is still a glimmer of hope. In this series, we take a look at various protected areas throughout the archipelago to learn the stories of the land, how it was once neglected and abused, and how it is slowly being renewed. This is Loren Legarda, and I present our Fragile Earth, Protected Areas of the Philippines. The slopes of Mount Banahaw are dwelling sites for various faiths and beliefs. It is a sacred landmark for thousands of devotees who flock to this three-peaked mountain every Holy Week to seek guidance and healing. Isa sa nakita namin importanteng dapat gawin dito yung paano i-manage yung mga bisita lalo na kung mahal na araw. Kasi nga uh, dumadami na and isa sa mga problema sa mga lugar na kagaya nito ay yung napakaraming tao. Not only a pilgrimage site, Mount Banahaw is also home to many rare species of flora and fauna. The Raflesha, a parasitic flowering plant found only in Southeast Asia, grows here. The Philippine cloud rat and other species of mammals roam within its forests. Its waterfalls, rivers, pristine pools, and caves attract mountaineers, adventure seekers, and those seeking healing from river systems believed to have medicinal value. The Mount Banahaw San Cristobal protected landscape is identified as a key biodiversity area in the Philippines. But years of unregulated climbing activities have taken its toll on Mount Banahaw. Its downtrodden trails became littered with trash, vandalism, smuggling of flora and fauna, and the installation of illegal structures are among the abuses suffered by the mountain. As hikers continue to ascend, the destruction of the protected landscape escalates. Yun po ang pinakamatindi yung sa illegal structure dahil uh, hindi po natin mapigilan na umunlad ng isang lugar. So ang, ang isang barometro ng pag-unlad ay eh, yung paglalagay ng mga bahay, pag, pagkatay ng mga bangong struktura. Mula sa dating dampa, nire-repair nila para maging isang concrete structure. So yun ang mahigpit namin yung pinag, uh, pinagtatalunan halos dito ng mga tao. The river systems that traverse the protected landscape, providing water for domestic irrigation and recreational purposes in 10 municipalities in Quezon and Laguna, are now contaminated by soap and shampoo used by pilgrims for cleansing. Ang uh, Banahaw ay isang watershed at pinagagalingan ng mga tubig sa mga kalapit na bayan hanggang sa Laguna, marami sa Laguna tubig dito sa Banahaw niya. So, yan ang isang matinding challenge namin pag Holy Week. Kung i-allowed sila na gumamit ng shampoo, ng sabon sa ilog, halos sabon na halos ang umaagos niya sa ilog. So, yun naman ang nakalalason sa tubig natin. Four hiking trails from Dolores and Sariaya, Quezon, particularly the frequently used Cristalino and Tatling Tanque Trails in Barangay Kinabuhayan were closed down. Kung dati-rati, pagkakatapos ng mahal na araw, ay uh, nakikita nyo yung pag namasyal kayo dyan, ang mga trail ay sira. Sa dami kasi ng mungkong tao. At may mga patches ng mga clearings, mga clearing-clearing sa uh, dinadaanan natin. Along doon sa pataas. Ay ngayon, ho, wala na masyado kayo makikita. Kasi nga, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng Murotorim area. Hindi na pwedeng lumampas ang tao doon sa Portico na lugar na yun. So, nakukumpine na lang sila dito sa campsite na ito. It's a religious uh, site, old zone. Meron niyang mga uh, activity na ginagawa like yung paliligo. So, kinumpute namin ilan ba yung pwede lang na maligo sa isang araw doon sa lugar na yun. Merong lugar dito na tinatawag na kweba na kung saan nagdarasal yung mga bisita. Kinumpute din namin kasi kung ilan lang yung dapat pupunta. Ayon sa aming pag-aaral, uh, base sa mga statistics, na mahigit na apat na libo na na tao ang pumupunta dito sa Mount Banahaw, lalong-lalo na pagka-lentent season. 
sa aming computation, yung pinaka mataas na pwedeng ma-accommodate sa isang lugar ay hindi pa aabot ng 3,000 dapat. After 11 years, biodiversity assessments show that the protected landscape is significantly recovering and bouncing back to life. Yung pag-close po namin ng selected trails ng Mount Banahaw, uh, masasabi ko po na nagkaroon naman po ito ng impact o positive uh, result. Kasi po uh, yung degraded areas po, uh, nag-come up na po tayo, nag-ano na po yung vegetation. So pagka po tayo yung nagkakandak ng mga biodiversity monitoring, ay nakikita natin na uh, nag-improve na yung biodiversity area dahil well, nakakakita na tayo ng mga hayop na, na lumanapas na nakakating tayo mga ibon at uh, nakakating tayo ng mga huli ng mga ugoy. So sa nangangahulugan na uh, hindi na siya doon distracted sila sa lupa na kanila lagi na lang. Limiting human activities in Mount Banahaw has allowed the mountain to heal. The reforestation of 63,038 hectares of forest land under the National Greening Program also helped boost its recovery. In the coming years, Mount Banahaw may reopen to pilgrims and hikers, but to be able to sustain its natural resources for the next generation, we must become responsible stewards, a people respectful of nature's cycle and its limitations.